Good morning! Gandang umaga sa lahat! So, after natin mabasa yung The Power of Sex in Mind Over Body, dito naman tayo ngayon sa libido or loss or decrease in libido. At some point in our lives, most of us will experience a time when we lost interest in sex. The hypothalamus which controls sex drive is a finely tuned part of the brain and therefore very sensitive. It is very easily affected by fatigue, stress, worries, poor diet, poor blood flow to the brain, and any number of sociological and psychological influences. Here are some here are just some of the things that can cause you to lose interest in sex. Stress from any cause from bereavement to overwork. Knee or chronic fatigue syndrome. Pages 272. And dito pa sa 128 na page. Anemia. Poor nutrition, insomnia, illness, fear or phobia due to bad experience or ignorance, being turned off by your partner, childbirth. A common element of many of this factor is an overwhelming loss of energy. If you are not receiving sufficient nourish nourishment, either through illness or poor eating habits, your energy levels will drop dramatically. Lack of sleep or persistent fatigue from being a new parent or a condi condition such as chronic fatigue syndrome similarly leave you chronically tired. Worry is a great drain on energy and a mind constantly preoccupied with annoying thoughts will channel energy into other parts of your life. So sex takes a back seat. Good morning, Kaja! <laughs> Thank you sa pag-drop! <laughs> An aversion to sex is slightly different. Di ba, ibang ano na tayo, level na tayo. Early experiences that are confusing or painful can lead to a fear or sexual intercourse. An uncaring or selfish partner, which could mean anything from halitosis to regular premature ejaculation, ejaculation, or lack of fitness. Ano, no? Ibang, ibang level? Ibang, ano? ibang discussion? Papunta na to sa ano? Married life. <laughs> Kasi ano na ang inaano natin kachaw about sex. An uncaring or selfish partner which could mean anything from halitosis to regular premature ejacul ejaculation or lack of fitness can take the pleasure out of sexual encounter sexual encounters while a traumatic experience such as rape or sexual abuse may require psychiatric help to rediscover an ability to enjoy sex. Piso Wi-Fi. Ah. Piso 5. Piso 5. Nasa 2. Nasa ano ata? 1 ay 2 hour. Ang ano, ang singko. Sexual hysteria. In Greek, hysteria means twisting of the uterus. And this is the name given to a psychological condition caused primarily by unfulfilled sexual desire. Girls brought up in culture in which, in which sex and sexual relationships are a taboo topics 
sometimes still arrive at their marriage bed uneducated about what to expect. Their first sexual encounters may have been painful but have excited them without bringing them to orgasm. This strange type of bit is a form of outlet that does not occur when they are on their own, but exclusively when they have an audience. Even though unconscious, these women can feel pain in pinching or acupressure on trigger points can bring them back to their senses. Educating such women and their partners on sexual matters and encouraging gentleness and care on both sides usually resolves the problem, which disappears when women begin to enjoy intercourse. Too old for sex. There is absolutely no reason why, as you get older, sex should become a thing of the past, but there are physical reason why it may lose it, its appeal. In the wake of the menopause, vaginal dryness, shrinking of nipples and clitoris, and less elasticity in the vaginal walls, reducing the dilation and contractions that brings pleasure during intercourse, can make lovemaking much less pleasurable. Lower energy levels and less frequent lovemaking can also lead to less interest in sex. Some women feel under pressure if their partner's libido is as high as ever for fear of him turning elsewhere. Hormone replacement therapy wards off the effects of the menopause, but you may prefer instead to use a natural cytoestrogen and supplements. Regular exercise also keeps your energy and stamina levels high and your joints supple, which help retain your enjoyment of lovemaking. Treatments Diet Reduce the amount you eat of food that produces fermentation in the gut, which leads to fatigue, yes products, excess sugar, blue cheese, and corn products. A high-protein diet maintains optimum blood pressure and helps combat fatigue. A simple protein supplement is 10 almonds soaked in water for 24 hours, then skin and eaten with a little honey every morning. Reduce your intake of coffee and alcohol. Massage. The skin is a powerful sensory organ it can generate strong emotions when stimulated messaging each other can increase mutual attraction and arouse sexual feeling the style of massage can also vary the effect pummeling and kneading stimulates the body while light scratching gently excites and stroking or touching softly with the fingertips is highly sensual and relaxing supplements Supplements contain balanced quantities of natural products and cytoestrogen helps to regulate the hormones. Zinc and magnesium open improve libido. Painful quitus. Painful. Pain during, ah, so ang painful coitus pala is a pain during sexual intercourse. Pain during, pain during sexual intercourse is very distressing and the memory of the pain may persist and interfere with pleasure on subsequent occasions. 
vaginismus. Vaginismus. Va vaginismus is the painful reflex spasm of the wall of the vagina inner muscles of the thigh and the vulva in anticipation of penetration this can occur in young women who have not this can occur in young women who have had no preparation for sex but trauma rather than ignorance is more likely these days gentle care Counseling and patience will be needed to overcome a problem of this sort with relaxation techniques as part of the therapy. Contact bleeding. Bleeding after intercourse should be investigated in case it is a sign of cervical erosion or ulceration, polyps, cancer, or a vaginal infection. Do not delay reporting it to your doctor if you have any problems. Foods recommended for improving a woman's libido include rhubarb. Rhubarb. Nuts, almonds, pistachios, brazil, pecans, Walnuts, hazelnuts, saffron, yams, ginger, pomegranates, soya, avocado, cherries, apricots, mild green chilies, honey, soft boiled eggs, spices, asafoetida, coriander, mustard, rhododendron, prawn, flower choni, a traditional Himalayan recipe. Message point. Message point. The scalp relaxes the body, induces sleep. Dito na sa it's a one. Forehead is tension and stress. Eyebrows and eyelids removes fatigue. Eye strain creates alertness. Eyebrows and eyelids. Front of neck. Sensitive causes Sensitive causes laughter, erogenous. Armpit, armpit. Thickness causes laughter. Inner side of elbows. Erogenous and can help a paralyzed person to enjoy sexual pleasure. Groin, inner tights, pubic region, and genitalia, 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 Genitalia. Highly erroneous. Fingers and toes. Pain relieving and soothing. Back of ears. Erroneous stimulates body. Nine. Back of ears. Back of neck removes fatigue, removes fatigue, headache, stress, anxiety, and improves blood flow to the brain, 
including hypothalamus assisting sexual function. Shoulder removes fatigue, creates alertness. Back entire relaxing erogenous removes fatigue. Thirteen sacral area and buttocks. Sacral area palato. And buttocks, erogenous. Dito sa ano. Knee, cup, and behind knee. 14. Causes slight agitation. And palms and soles of feet, relaxing and sensation of being cared for. Kuya? Yeah, ah. Magkagawas na sila ko ate. Ha? Magkagawas na sila ate. Ito mga tala. O, na po ko. Message lang taka. Oh, ah, ah. Ah, ah. O, ikaw na lang ko ta. Wala pa man nag-message. Message lang taka. Sige, sige. And that's all for today. Thank you. Bukas na ulit tayo. God bless. Bye-bye.